Hello everybody and welcome back to Hamster Days. I know it's been a long time since I last made a video, but my schedule has been packed and I needed some time to soul search. But now I'm back and planning to work on more videos. Today's video is about the dangers of bar chewing. Now bar chewing can seem like a normal behavior if you own a barred cage, but it's actually not, and it's quite a harmful behavior, not something you should take lightly. The number one cause of bar chewing is stress. Because hamsters are prey animals, they are often wary of potential predators, so it doesn't take much to spook them and stress them out. A bigger cause of stress, however, is living in an environment that is too small. Now it is a known fact that hamsters teeth are constantly growing and need to be worn down through chewing, however chewing metal is not a good option. Chewing metal bars can cause the teeth to chip and break off at sharp angles, which can make it hard to eat and painful as well. It can also cause co something called bar rub, which occurs when the top of the nose is rubbing against the bar above during bar chewing which can cause an open sore to form, as well as fur loss in that area. In addition, bar chewing can also cause their teeth to grow malaligned, which can not only make it difficult and painful to eat, but it can also cause the teeth to break through the skin of their cheek or snout. Since bar chewing is caused by stress, you need to find out what is stressing your hamster. Firstly, make sure you have a big enough cage. The recommended minimum area of floor space in a proper cage is 360 square inches, but it is preferable to go bigger. Most barred cages marketed for hamsters are actually too small, which is what results in them bar chewing. If you do have a barred cage that is big enough, you will need to figure out the source of their stress and remove it. They may not feel safe or stimulated, so make sure there are plenty of hideaways and toys. If they continue to bar chew, finding them a new home without bars is the best option. The bigger issue with this is not just pet stores selling harmful cages, but also that a lot of people don't do research on owning a hamster before they buy one. I would know because that was me when I first started the channel, and now that I've done the research, I'm appalled with myself for not being smart about this and how others are just as clueless. More people tend to research owning a dog or a cat, but not small animals. They just assume that because the pet store sells these items catered to small animals, that they're safe, when actually they're not. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be on the lookout for more videos. Bye!